welcome to NEK of ET Rocks. And my guest today is Lynn Lima. Lynn is the abdicated queen of NEK, is that your title? <laughs> or something like that. Something like that. <laughs> And today we're talking about Memphrey Magog Arts, Arts Collaborative. Collaborative. Yes. How did the queen of NEK <laughs> become part of the Mac Collaborative? Well, interestingly, Jim McKim, who yeah. was the visionary that came up with right. Mac Center for the Arts, was originally from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. And I happened to live around the corner from him, but we didn't know each other at the time. Huh. And I happened to see him at Steinbeck's in Red Bank decorating a window which was his forte right. window decorating and I can still remember standing in Steinbeck's and watching him because he was so meticulous with everything that he did fast forward mm -hmm. and come up here to the Northeast Kingdom and I happened to meet Jim and get talking to him and we find out <laughs> we're around the corner from each other so he said that he would like to start an arts group mm -hmm. and be inclusive of all arts performing arts and um, you know mm -hmm. everything so he laid out his plan he invited people to become a charter member a part of it and so 12 years ago that's how that came wow. about so I think what most people know about Mac is it's a retail store on Main Street with absolutely gorgeous stuff on the walls and up the middle and that sometime there are events downstairs either picture displays, art displays, or a performance. Right. And then. What else does Mac have? Well, what the else? interesting what else thing is, is that most people, when you say Mac, go right to a computer. Right. You know, but actually the Memphis Magog Arts Collaborative <laughs> has now morphed into Mac Center for the Arts. Right. Because Jim wanted to really make that inclusive mm -hmm. for everything. And so within the shop, Yes, there is a gallery with gorgeous items. I know. <laughs> and I don't think that people realize that sometimes that we're actually there. It's 158 Main Street, downtown mm -hmm. Newport, and downstairs we have wonderful exhibits right. that the gallery committee puts mm -hmm. together. Some are visiting exhibits, mm -hmm. some are brand new artists, and some are performances. Right. And it's really a very special jewel in the middle of Main Street. It's literally a jewel as well. I, mean, <clears throat> I know when I go in, I see gorgeous jewelry there, some of which is really affordable. I Very. Mean, the, I think there's an illusion that it's so high end b because of its Correct. quality of work, right. that it's unaffordable. Not true. Right. And we have true. all of the artists that are there are all juried artists. Mm -hmm. So the gallery committee or the handcrafters committee or the performance committee jury everyone that's in there but there is a price range that all Newport right. greater Newport area people can afford from something as simple as five dollars beautiful cards that we have mm -hmm. all the way up to pieces of furniture right uh, that are gorgeous gorgeous pieces do of you furniture. have to be a quote super artist to be involved with Mac I don't think you have to be a super artist but it would help if you we're a super artist. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the quality of the work is unique. Yeah. It's whimsical. It's worth just walking through the store, mm -hmm. even if you don't buy anything, which we'd like you to buy something. But of course. Um, it, it's worth walking through just for the joy, the sheer joy of looking at beautiful work. Right which is something I do regularly because it's so, I can't possibly afford or have a house that's big enough to accommodate exactly. all of it. <laughs> but it's so nice to sort of look at it and think, oh, wow, that would be not right on my wall, but it's gorgeous right, here. Right, exactly. And we have yeah. photographers, yes. painters, jewelers, woodworkers, craftspeople that make yarn and mm. and and now we have a new fellow that's doing brass work oh his work is stunning. oh it's extraordinary it's stunning. extraordinary stained glass work yeah and and performers and performers absolutely and we sell cds by the performers and we also do quite a bit of fundraising through our performances mm -hmm. because we are a total volunteer organization total there's no paid employees Here's a really strange question. As somebody who's done, a quote, a lot of activist kind of organizing over the, over the decades, 
how do you organize artists? Because when I've done musical venues, it's a bit like herding, herding cats. cats. <laughs> so, how exactly. do you pull all that off? Exactly. Well, amazingly, <laughs> because of the caliber of artists that we do have, mm -hmm. they are very cooperative and collaborating. Mm -hmm. So it's not as difficult as one would think. <laughs> Everybody wants the success of the right. Mac to continue so everyone is invested in it. I have a friend that always says, if you don't have skin in the game, it's not going to matter. And everybody mm -hmm. has some relatable part mm -hmm. of them and their artistry, which is why it's so successful with the volunteers. Can you only be a member of MAC if you're an artist of some sort? Oh no. We would love to have more supporting members. Only $25. Um, it's, <laughs> What's a supporting member? A supporting member is somebody that is an advocate, is a patron of any of the arts that are mm -hmm. there to help us. We do have a lot of expenses in keeping the rent and the heat and the mm -hmm. air conditioner. You know, all of those things brick right. and mortar goes with. and uh, <laughs> But supporting members help encourage the actual members that are there as well right you know so that's important yeah i was there for an event recently i can't remember which one it was now you have so many events so many which is really amazing was it gabe tempesta no no but i'll come back to that okay. one because that was gorgeous it was one that was raising money for a handicap accessible bathroom oh yes the ongoing fundraising for ADA uh, compliance. Yeah. That's one of the hiccups that we've got with mm -hmm. being in an older building. Sure. And um and so we want to be as incorporating to our community as possible. Right. And so we have had many performances, uh one in the summer for the Chautauqua for the Centennial, mm -hmm. but then we took that Gilbert and Sullivan performance yeah. again in January and dedicated all of those funds through now playing Newport and mm -hmm. to help with that because it's very expensive. Right. It's very. Yeah. That that facility will be upstairs, right? Correct. So upstairs will be totally accessible. Correct. Is downstairs going to become yeah, accessible? Yeah. It's about $10,000 to put in any kind of a lift Wow. Uh, to go downstairs. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a dream yeah. that we're still working towards. Uh, we want that to be accessible. But, you know, even in the fact that we don't have ADA accessibility to the downstairs mm -hmm. level, what we have done in the past is we've brought up a computer mm -hmm. and done a live feed from downstairs oh, cool. for anyone that was upstairs, yeah. even for workshops. Yeah. So if somebody couldn't do the stairs, they could still participate. That's really great. I didn't know that. Yeah. That that's fantastic. We've had other people on this show who have done specific workshops. Um, Patty Oliver Smith right. and Peggy were here right. recently. Uh, do workshops happen regularly? Pretty much. Um, and it depends on the committees that are generating the workshops. Mm -hmm. For myself, when we do the children's theater workshops, we are now working in concert with the Encore mm -hmm. after school program and summer program. So Sonny Naughton, Alan Cubitt, and myself will mm -hmm. be taking a children's theater workshop to the Derby Elementary School, the Newport City Elementary School, and working for a week with children. Mm -hmm. And so that makes it easier for us to go to them. That's all part of MAC. Correct. Wow, yes. that's great. Yes, it's really it's really a great opportunity. We did it last year with the children as well, mm -hmm. and it was so well received that they asked us if we would sure. come back and do it again. Do they fund it? They do. Because there's a limit to how much volunteer energy. Correct, they do. Can go into it. And it's fantastic. I think the Encore program is generated right out of the OENSU, mm -hmm. so the supervisory union. So that's really yeah. a great opportunity yeah. for all of the artists in our. Collaborative. One of my next questions was going to be about how how to get arts into the minds of kids, young people growing right. up, for whom it's not so prevalent in schools. I know. When we were in school, we had dance, we had music, art, we had it all. everything. But those are yeah. the first things that are always cut. When there's any kind of a budget item, it's always the arts that are cut. 
and the arts are critical to it's so developmental learning yeah. for children. It's so important to tap into that creative process. Yes. But also, this is just a tidbit from, from long ago and far away, during the crash of 29, mm -hmm. and people were so desperate, but it was the arts that kept people going. And they actually kept the theaters open and they kept right. uh, vaudeville and was the popular thing right. at that time because it transported people away from depression. Right. It kept their minds active. It made them lift up and feel better. So, <laughs> you know, that's what I think that's why. Now we prescribe drugs. Well, the, <laughs> chemical strength. Even jackets. Alzheimer's patients, right. they say, tap into the music yes, and the arts and the, everything. It's absolutely true. And if you look at the big hole that's across the street from us, it, it's a juxtaposition that solidifies the fact that arts make a difference. Mm -hmm. If the downtown was really collapsing, Mac would not survive. Right. But it's because Mac Center for the Arts is there that our downtown is surviving. Right. Right. It is one of the anchors. <laughs> you, you tell them, Lynn. <laughs> it truly is one of the anchor exactly. stores. And that's important. It is important. And so that's why we would encourage as many young people as we can mm -hmm. to come into MAC, to start participating with MAC, whatever your discipline is. You know, if it's music, if it's dance, if it's sculpting, if yeah. it's whatever it is, to come in and start being a part of this collaboration. Yeah. I listened to a VPR tidbit yesterday as I was driving somewhere and it was about a young person graduating high school as part of her art project she'd taken some photographs she'd been incredibly creative with them and of course got a lot of flack for that so initially the school had really encouraged her and they were being the art was being hung in the school <laughs> and then somebody panicked because it quote looked like people in bondage oh dear but it, is, it isn't I mean it's incredibly creative and you can go online and look at it but is there a way that Matt can be that creative with kids and have sort of I would think, yeah. that, you know, it's just putting on our thinking cap and, right. and coming up with a new avenue that would yeah. incorporate the kids. I, I thought this young woman sounds so talented. She'd done something with people dressed all in black and ropes, col brightly colored ropes, uh, sort of shibori style. Right. Oh, this is amazing. Well, you know, we had an exhibit not too many months back, and I... I have forgotten exactly who it was generated by, but it was all young people mm -hmm. and photography. Yes. And they took the pictures and they edited themselves and we had an exhibit downstairs. I remember that. I wish I could remember who it was that... It was one of the schools, I think, that pulled that together. But I, it was beautiful. It was beautiful and remarkable when you looked at the ages. Yeah. And they went from homeschool children mm -hmm. to public school children to private schools yeah. everything was incorporated and it was just breathtaking really right. breathtaking i think it was the wooden horse arts gallery um, with camilla Troy. yeah camilla mead i think yeah. it was part of her uh, could be it was lovely scope. yes it was yeah. really which they are no longer um a group anymore oh, i think they've disbanded yes so then mac has an opportunity here <laughs> Well, we have something else to do. That's right. <laughs> something else to do. Well, we've done a lot within the community. I mean, with that big hole and with that fence. The fence we was amazing. We did a great fiber project, if you will, yeah. with fabric and, and designing Victoria Matheson. Yeah. Came up with all the designs for all the panels along with North Country Hospital, I think, and the mm -hmm. Men from Agog Even uh, the city. watershed and the city. I mean... And it brought people together, mm -hmm. and that's what art does. It brings a community yeah. together. I agree. You know, and it was it's fun just, as well. Oh, it was great. We had such a I good time. I saw bunches of kids working on the fences too. It was wonderful. And and people neat. would beep as they wave and go by, mm -hmm. and then some people just wanted to stop and help. I can right. remember the two Mormons that were going yes. around, and they stopped. <laughs> yeah. And helped us too. So we have some very integrative projects that just. Mm -hmm take hold yeah and 
yes, there's a big hole across the street, but there's a lot of street too. There's a lot of street. There's a lot of street. And there's that could a lot be being of possibility used. for that empty sidewalk across the street. I agree. And I think some kind of a pop up art show mm -hmm. on the sidewalk across the street would be the way to go with utilizing that empty space. So if people were interested in that, they could join Mac. Couldn't they, they should. They should. Not could. They should. should. <laughs> They should join Mac. I mean, it's just, it's a wonderful, creative group of artists, artisans, performers. And it's so, I can't say this enough, it's so important for this community. Right. Critical for this community. Yeah. What do you have planned from, because clearly you're in the performance end of it. Right. What kind of performances do you have planned? Well, we actually have one for the juried writers and juried performers coming up in September. Mm -hmm. It will be held at the United Church because that's a bigger space sure. for us. And acoustically, it works really well and has a wonderful grand piano in there. So all of the performers and all of the writers mm -hmm. will do about five to ten minutes of their work and it will be a writer and a performer and a writer and a performer and there are about 14 or 15 wow. individual performances all of that money will be dedicated from that show towards the lift for the basement downstairs nice. so that that would be something that we're moving towards yeah and people will work on their own piece for that Correct. or will, so will the director well, I think I may just be the MC. I don't know necessarily that I will perform, but Ben <laughs> um, loses. Being an MC is performing. Okay, well, all right. <laughs> so um, I think Janice Luce and Ben Luce will yeah. perform. Ben Kinsley yeah. will perform. Uh, Deb Wasoja. Um, and then we have many, many writers like Patty mm -hmm. Oliver Smith and Peggy Sapphire yeah. and and Jerry Johnson, right. so many people know Jerry, Cat yes. Home. So there's a, a plethora of people that will perform for that and we're hoping that the community will come out and support it mm -hmm. and, and have a great evening. It's how, how do people actually get involved? I mean, the artists, as you've said, they have to be juried and I presume there's information about that on Mac's sure. website. But what about supporting members? Well, we could really use some volunteers to help us in that capacity of being not just a supporting member by sending in a check but also <laughs> physically being there to help us there are events that we need to maybe set up clean up hang up <laughs> hammer and nail you know different things like that right. and and we could really use some young high school involvement you know for you the mean young people not just us geriatrics <laughs> I, I, I think, you know, we're like diamonds, you know, <laughs> so we just get better with age or good wine. Mature, mature. That's right. Yes. Right. So uh, I yeah. and I just heard the other day, you know, 65 is the new 30. So, you know, so we're all in that category. So that makes basically. me about 35. Right. right. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I, I think if we could get some some new creative juices flowing that would also inspire yeah all it of makes us it, fun. it does we do have fun though yeah we have a lot of fun yeah i know there's an event coming up this week and it's sort of by the time this airs right that will it'll already, already be go done. yeah but there are other events coming up over the summer sure. that will well the exhibit that's <laughs> going to be coming up that will have already had its opening mm -hmm. is blue um, an exhibit and an exploration in color and it's all of the members of MAC and, and a few mm -hmm. others that will have distinctive items, doesn't have to be a painting, right. that are about the color blue. And so Jessica from Rec Committee mm -hmm. contacted us, so wanted to incorporate it as part of Aquafest. Oh, nice. Well, that's brilliant because Aqua blue. being blue, you know, Ooh. so it's, it's part of that weekend yeah. as well. After that, we have Sterling Trail who is an amazing sculptor and young, creative. <laughs> young, that's the key word. He had been in QNEK. I have to stick that little bit in. He's uh -huh. really talented, really talented. And, but his work is just exquisite. 
just as Gabe Tempesta's oh, work. His work was just oh, amazing. Jaw dropping. Yeah. I mean, there was a dropping. piece of art. There was a cat in the window. Yes. And the cat walked towards you. It was gorgeous. And they look almost like a photograph. Yes, it was but just they're gorgeous. not. Uh, just such creative, talented yeah. people in this area. It's amazing. Yeah. And hopefully, a lot of the art is not just in the old traditional way, but that there's. A space for new creativity. Sure. I think about dance particularly right. for that. When I look at hip hop and some of the other amazing sure. dance modalities, is that We'd love to yet? have some dancers. We had one, Michaela Art Ortiz. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was our one and only dancer that was in the in the group. And she's away in college. And she's now. away in college now, so we don't see very Darn. much of her. But boy, what a dancer. And we have used her as a dancer in some yeah. of our performances that we've had throughout the years and we would love to have more dancers yeah It'd be terrific really terrific i think very often dance is the forget forgotten modality right. right and yet it's so powerful it is it is so all you dancers out there <laughs> <laughs> well, even the sort of traditional the own basically the only traditional american dance form which is tap have or square had... dancing. Well, there are variants of that in other cultures, right, too. Right, right. But tap is pretty unique it is. to America. It is. Other jazz musicians, by the way? Well, involved? I would consider some of what Ben Luce does as jazz. And Ben yeah. Kinsley has also segued here and there yeah. with some jazz pieces. He's a wonderful guitarist. And he has, uh, Sonia Patnode, I believe, is the vocalist that sings with him on occasion. Mm. And so, and they have done some jazz variations, yeah. which are very exquisite. I was sort of thinking, you know, how when you walk through somewhere like New Orleans and there's dance and right. music right. on the street. Right, right. What well, man could do with that? Or, or some buskers out in front. And, right, right. Well, obviously, with my accent, I come from a culture where buskers are everywhere. Yes. But here, people apparently think it's strange. I don't. Well, we tried last season to work with Jay Peak on that Friday night yeah, shuffle, shuffle and have a busker out there mm -hmm. in front of the Mac Center. But the way that it unfolded, it, people on Friday night are sort of coming in for the weekend. Yeah. They just want to settle in. And so, right. you know, there wasn't a lot of yeah. foot traffic, but we so still had a good time. Maybe there's a way of reworking that. I'm sure. But I know when I've gone to restaurants and heard music on the street, it's really great. It's great. I want to just hang out there for right, a while exactly. before I go in and feed. Exactly. And exactly. hopefully have music when I come back out. Right. Well, and we have that wonderful liaison with so many terrific restaurants in our area yes. within walking distance of the Mac. So, and, and I'm sure you're going to talk about this at some point maybe with the the gals that run it but the Wednesdays on the waterfront oh that's it's just so a, great it's we can't have enough of exactly. that exposure to the arts to the music to everything it's just it's soul penetrating yeah. it's so and good. they're mostly using local bands they are which is wonderful it is and there's so much talent in the Northeast Kingdom I know. so much and it was an interesting little snippet at our annual meeting that we just had. Mm -hmm. And someone said, how many of you artists in here are actually native Vermonters? <laughs> I think three people raised their hand out of 35. Huh. So we've infused this area with artists that have come. Why? They're coming to this area. It calls artists. There's right. it's something important about being near the water mm -hmm. and being near nature mm -hmm. and having this bucolic area that we're in that literally pulls artists to us. It's an advantage. It's you're right. And, and the long winters give you plenty of time That's to true. Be That's creative. true. Exactly. Frankly, you've got to do something with those long winters. That's true. And there's a new um, challenge that's out there for us with the creative hub that mm -hmm. uh, the Catamount Arts is generating for this area. And that's starting to percolate a lot. I think it's going to make a difference to our downtown. How is that going to impact on Mac? Or ha let me ask it differently. How is Mac going to impact on that? Well, because it is a creative hub, mm -hmm. I think that we will have a major role in 
uplifting mm-hmm. the the consciousness of this group that's together and helping the main street and the mainstream. Yeah. I mean, it's certainly an area that is so beautiful. It is. And housing is actually affordable here. It's not affordable to rent. Right. But if somebody is thinking about buying a house, there are certainly some incredibly affordable options. And if you're a handy person, wow. You bet. Oh, I've, lo- I've looked at some places and I think, wow, if I was 40 years younger <laughs> and much better with a hammer and nails, what, I, what could be done Well, you know, I saw on the news this morning that the governor has a stay-to-stay um, right. promo that they're doing. Newport is being highlighted as one of the concentrations. <laughs> About so, time. Yeah, so people are invited by the tourism board to come here, and once they come here, stay. Find start your own business or find a business to get involved with and and be part of this community i I think that's brilliant it is and there is a community here yes it it may sort of seem that it's fragmented initially but there's still a strong community there is a very strong community here i love love newport from the time i moved here 30 years ago my my heart was just embedded in this community Mm -hmm. I, I love it. And you still can't count as a Vermonter. I know. That's okay. I'm a Vermonter <laughs> by choice. I agree. Me too. And that's what I like. And, you know, our accents give us away I, every time. Oh, yes. My accent definitely, <laughs> too. But, you know, I always tell people, living here, I feel like I'm on vacation every day of my life. Mm-hmm. My eyes every morning see something spectacular. Sunrise, water, the birds, the winter, the fall. It's just an amazing Mm -hmm. place to live. Truly amazing. It is. is. Yeah. And now that we're moving, we're actually getting a summer. It's really nice having that season. That's true, too. Yeah. That's true. And there's something about the sun and what that does. Right. And we have plein air which is the outdoor painters mm-hmm. that Donna Walsh puts together every single year. So that's another advantage of being so a part of MAC. I presume there's info about all of these things on the website. Correct, yeah, which is www.maccenterforthearts.com. <laughs> for, yeah. And uh, the, everything you want to know is there. Yeah, the link will be going up at oh, the end perfect. of this. I mean, that's one of the Perfect. useful things. Good. But how does somebody become a volunteer at MAC? Well, stop in and visit us and give us your name or go right to the website and you can contact through the email and drop us a note and we can make sure that we get together with you. Yeah. So if somebody walks into MAC, there's, there's always somebody working there. Correct. Who's usually an artist. Correct. Is there a place to sign up to say, I'm interested in being contacted about a volunteer? We'll make sure there is. <laughs> yeah, that would sort of make it easy yes. rather than having to rely on somebody's memory when they're busy. Right, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. There's no reason not to be involved with that. No. There's so many opportunities. No matter what you like to mm-hmm. do, it doesn't matter what it is. If you want to paint, if you want to knit, if you want to build furniture, whatever it is, you know, um, just get involved and yeah. come and join us. Or if you want to broaden the music that's available in this community, because as I think about the musicians, when I've looked at the list in Mac, and I have cruised that website, the music's pretty much one genre, but there's a lot of space for other genres. Sure. Music that appeals to all ages. Sure. Absolutely. So we'll take as many musicians as we can encourage to join the MAC. That would be wonderful. Yeah, I hear good musicians around Newport. A lot. Yeah. Yeah, there's one that's in the, the booth right now. That we're. I've heard that rumor. Yeah. yeah. I think his name is Todd Pronto. Huh. And I understand he actually works here. I <laughs> think I, I've heard that too. <laughs> and his music is actually pretty diverse. It is. It is. And yeah. we've actually used some of his CDs in our silent auction at oh. the Mac. Yeah. So people are familiar with his work. Mm-hmm. He also donates and volunteers a lot of his time to 
organizations. He's very, very good. Yes. We like Todd. And we'd, li <laughs> we'd like Mac to have him as a volunteer That's right. member, right? <laughs> I know a recruitment pitch when I hear That's one. That's right. <laughs> and I bet he does as well. We're just about out of time. It goes really fast. So if you had a sort of last minute elevator pitch about Mac and where it's going to be in the next two, three years, what would you say? Well, I anticipate in the next two or three years that we will actually still be here mm -hmm. and maybe even expanding uh, to finding a performance venue. Uh, I think that that would probably mm -hmm. be a good direction for us to move in. But I think encouraging the membership to grow yeah. and getting more volunteers and just getting the word out that we're not a computer. <laughs> MAC stands for the Memphis Magog Arts Collaborative. And if you haven't stopped in to see us, you must stop in and witness some extraordinary art. Mm -hmm. I can add nothing to that because obviously I've stopped in and the work is beautiful. It's just, it's amazing. Yeah. We're just about out of time. Okay. So thank you for coming. Thank and you. And I know this is going to be part of, we've already had a couple of performers from Mac, so clearly this is something that's going to continue. Wonderful. Because it's, it's an anchor for Newport. Sure. It's part of the Northeast Kingdom. Thank you for coming. Thank Please you, come Pam. Back. I will. Thanks. <laughs>